This demonstration will illustrate the process of adding a voiceover to an existing video. Uh, what we have here is my uh, best laid plans video as it exists in the Multiquence program. You'll notice I have a title here and a little end credit there. Here's my existing audio that came from the recorded uh, video. Took this off a uh, Olympus SP320. And here's my main video. Now then, if I want to add a voiceover, I would follow the following process. First I go to Track, New. You can see that that added a track underneath the existing one. Then I go to Track, Create Recording Section. Now pause. You will notice 45.533 seconds is the length of my video. That will be important in a moment. So we go to Create Recording Section, and I'm going to name this uh, New Voice. Now then, I can set my length, and it's kind of nice that I can still see it sitting over there on the right. I type in 45.533. Okay, now I have a voice track which will be the same length as my primary video. At the moment, if I right click and look at section options, we'll notice that microphone is selected, the length is 45.533 seconds, and I'm set to record. So we can click cancel. Now, to record, all I do is press the control key while I start the video. However, having done this once before, I know that I want to mute the existing soundtrack. It's a sound effects track, and I want to mute that so that it doesn't also get included in my new voice. So I've muted that by pressing this little mute button down here. I'll unpress it. It's now muted. So holding the control key down, I press the play button. All right, this is a test. Right now we're looking at best laid plans. It just fades out and we move along a little bit further and lo and behold there's some flapping in the wind and etc 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 when we're done we click the stop button and it doesn't really look like anything happened if you want to get some confirmation that indeed you did make a recording we have to right click go to section options and select play. Now we click OK. Ah, there's some nice little wiggly bits and it looks like we have a recording. So let's click on our play button. Um, don't know if you were able to hear through the speaker but that was indeed the voiceover running. So this gives us the ability to add voiceover onto an existing uh, video. I'm going to try something a little bit different. First, let's move to about here in the video. You'll notice there's no recording here. We stopped earlier. Now if we click this button here, this a straight bar and then the triangle, it starts recording from where that uh, bar is. So let's switch back section options to record, click OK. 
holding the control key down, let's push this button. Okay, we are adding sound at this point here. We should see some wiggly bits when we take a look at it. Okay, let's see if it worked. Section options, play, and there we have it. So this gives you the ability to find a section of the video that you want to check out, add voiceover to that part, and you don't have to run the whole video. Hope this helps.